Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about tuning in to your intuition and listening to your gut. So it's interesting, this video actually, the inspiration for this video is coming up right now because I actually am challenged with listening to my own intuition in my gut right now. And I've been meditating, I've been journaling, and oftentimes it can become cloudy or challenging for us to discern what the correct course of action will be. Now, with that being said, I know that the clarity will come. It's almost like, you know, I'll use the analogy of uh, if you, you know, you are at the beach or get into a lake or something, and the first time you step in, the dirt at the bottom gets shaken up, you can't see through to the bottom, right? But once the dust settles, even when you're in the water, all of a sudden the water becomes more clear and you can see through. So I'm kind of in the clouded area right now. I thought I'd get on here and talk about today, trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. So what's important about this? Well, it's important for a lot of reasons. One, in today's society especially, uh, we've all been programmed to a degree by so many different things, whether it is social media or it is you know, your friends, your family, uh, your culture. All these systems of beliefs get put upon us. And if we choose to live a life in which we are confused, based on what other people think we should do or what's best for us, we lose that connection with ourselves, that gut feeling, that intuition. And so I recommend, and what I'm practicing again, is meditation and journaling as a few tools. You'll also notice uh, today, what I decided to do, uh, which I'll probably start doing going forward, is having myself share this message over my workouts. The reason I'm doing this is because, sure, it's important to connect with the message, but I also think that seeing uh, workouts and things like that will motivate you, if you haven't already, to empower you and, and take control of your health. Because uh, as we know, health is incredibly important. And if you really don't take care of your health, um, I mean, all the money in the world isn't going to matter. Your relationships won't matter because you're not in a good state. And if you're not in a good state and you're not feeling good or you have chronic ailments and things like that, it's very hard to achieve what we want in life. So that's the purpose behind sharing the workouts today. Uh, that being said, also, um, happy to talk about the workouts. If you want to see more, have any questions about what I'm doing in the videos, you can always reach out to me. I always leave my email uh, and then my Instagram as well. And then a link, now a link tree uh, link in the description here that you can use um, in order to get a hold of me or apply for coaching, all that good stuff, whatever it is. Now back to the topic of the day, talking about trusting your gut and your intuition. So what do we do and how do we handle this when we are clouded, well, I can only speak for myself, right? And so the experience that I'm going through right now is interesting. So I'm building this online coaching business, a personal training business, and there's been all these synchronicities though recently that are guiding me back to go more into the personal development space, more of the uh, spiritual, personal development, life coaching type of deal, um, understanding deeper principles that uh, are underlying a lot of our pain or things that are holding us back from having what we want to have or doing what we want to do, just being the person that we want to be. So it's very interesting because with trusting your intuition, there will be moments in which there are transitions. And there's a book that comes to mind called The Way of the Superior Man by a man named David Data. If you have not read it, man or woman, I recommend that you read it. Uh, if you're a woman, you will find value out of it because you'll understand your partner better and you'll probably understand yourself better because it's less about man and woman. It's more about masculine and feminine energies and the way in which they operate individually and together. But I bring that book up because he the first literally the first excerpt and they're very small chapters maybe one to two to three four pages at the most and the first one is about finding your purpose and what he says is it's very important to find your purpose and it may take time and the opportunity is the challenge for us is when we feel lost or in this period like i am right now of transition or uh, there's some kind of fogginess that's been coming up as far as reflection goes and i can share kind of how I've arrived at that recently. It means that we're disconnected with our purpose or what we should be doing. And what he says is, don't go out with your friends, uh, don't chase girls or go out on dates, don't go out drinking, don't smoke, don't do drugs, don't play video games, just sit there and wait, which is agony for a lot of people. Um, 
And this is how I arrived actually at my journey to know that I was gonna do personal training. Now, the interesting synchronicities that have been happening with me that have been uh, posing questions and again, I'm just right now kind of waiting for the dust to settle. I've got a lot more writing and meditating to do was, I noticed myself starting to resent people. And I was like, why, or resent them and, and judge them. And I'm like, why am I resenting other people? Why am I judging them? I, I outgrew this, I healed this so long ago. Uh, but it's old issues that have come up again about my family, my father, forgiveness, love, moving on, things like that. So as that has come up, I realized I was like, okay, I'm disconnected from people my connections my relationships are not where I need them to be in this life is about people and the reason I was disconnecting and pushing people away and judging them is for anger resentment but the underlying cause was safety and the safety is you know if you push people away and you judge them and make them to be out to be different than you are well then you no longer have to connect with them you're justifying the reason why you're isolating or pushing people away but you're missing out on the point of life, which is connection, which is relationships. And uh, the epiphany that I had, or the deeper level to that, is that I realized that I was judging this because I was holding on to anger and resentment from my father and my family. And so I've gone into, again, practices of forgiveness and opening up this space of understanding and compassion. Um, you know, And it's been a challenging situation now, as I've begun to do that, as I've begun to dive back into some of these things and talk about them, uh, with myself and journaling and, and all this stuff, um, it's it's been interesting. I, I've realized that one, I need to open myself up and be vulnerable to connection because that is the point of life. And also it's intrinsically tied to the success of my business and forming meaningful relationships in my life, whether it's clients, friends, families, uh, romantic partners, anything. And so trusting our intuition and our gut comes as such an invaluable skill because now what has posed itself to me is, okay, I've been working on this personal training business and uh, I, was doing, I was doing okay and I was on my way to doing really well and I'm still doing fine. Um, but now I've been having this kind of like inkling or these signs and again, synchronicities about I should be doing life coaching. I should uh, be talking about more of the spiritual aspects of life because I realize that as I get into my business also, it is personal training and I'm taking on bodybuilding uh, and it's a whole different subculture that I was starting to go into this toxic masculine masculine energy which again is tied to my father and holding on to anger resentment these sort of sort of things and so uh, I actually tried calling him yesterday and today um, I think he's just out and about uh, and his voice bo voicemail is full which is rare so I couldn't get a hold of him but it's just time for me to reconnect with him forgive uh, and move on because I know again it's, it's tied to the success of my business so as I've come to these realizations that the success of my business is um, being blocked by the anger and resentment that I am having by judging people and pushing them away, that's tied to the anger and resentment that I'm holding on to with my father and my family that I have now let go of. So, and I'm mindful of what I say, I was gonna say that I need to let go of. No, I've let go of it, it's done. That's why um, I took the step to just call, talk to him, reconnect. And I think the funny thing is, uh, why I brought up this subject is, now I'm sitting here thinking, okay, am I supposed to do training or am I supposed to start changing my Instagram and start taking a more spiritual, compassionate aspect, talking about some of the deeper principles of uh, personal transformation, personal development, spirituality, these things that really, these underlying currents and truths that, that run our lives, right? These belief systems that we have underneath how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and again, I'm not sure right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of it, but I thought it was, I, I know it's important to talk about because the message it's coming through to me now that I want to share with you today is if you feel lost in your life or you're confused or you're questioning yourself there's two things that come to mind that that you may want to just slow down and pause on one you could be very close to actually breaking through the other side and uh, seeing a big leap of progress in a current endeavor or when this comes through it really is a uh, time to pause and reflect and most importantly, as I mentioned from that book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data, is be patient. Be patient and wait and let the dust settle so that you can see clearly through the water at the bottom. That's what I'm kind of, that space that I'm in, I'm in the in-between space right now. Um, so again, the message is, if you're feeling uncomfortable or you think that there needs to be a change in your life, 
Take the time to connect with yourself through meditation, through being alone especially, and through journaling, through writing, uh, you know, go for a drive, whatever it is. But I recommend being alone. The reason why is because if I had other people here or, you know, um, just going on dates or hanging out with friends and stuff, I'm distracted. I'm distracted and I'm now being affected by their energy. So then the message is that the clarity in which I seek other words is being either blocked by being distracted or it's being affected by other people's energies, right? And then especially if you open up and they're not someone who's gonna really listen, they just wanna tell you what to do, that's gonna be real bad because then you're you're very influential, you're, uh, you're easily influenced right now. You're looking for the answer outside of yourself. The answer is within you, so be patient, journal, meditate, and most importantly, be alone so you're not affected by any energies. In other words, when you're trying to grow uh, vegetables in a fresh garden, you've got to plant the seed and then you've got to create the environment for the seed to blossom. The clarity in which you seek is, you know, the, about using your intuition and getting the answer to the question that you have is an opportunity for you to create the environment for that clarity to come through. We cannot do this when we're drinking or smoking weed or doing drugs or you know, going and chasing a bunch of girls or, or guys, whatever, just going out or, you know, partying your butt off. And this is what most people do. This is they, they go and they distract because this is the part that's uncomfortable. But this is the opportunity to do to develop a deeper connection with yourself. Because as you get quiet and you sit in solitude and you write about it and reflect on your thoughts, you become more aware of what's going on and who you're choosing to be in this moment. And as we create the clarity by giving ourselves the space in order to move forward, the answers will come, the dust will settle, everything will come come to fruition and you know, have a clear vision. That's, again, that's where I'm currently at right now. So um, messages, I'll say it one more time before we end the video for today, is to be patient when you're in this space. Um, take the time to clear out your energy, go outside, write, journal, um, and spend some time alone so that you can connect with yourself and understand what it is that you want, what direction you want to go with your life. Because it's your life and it's your life alone. And no one's going to do anything for you. No one, and honestly, no one cares. They got, you know why? It doesn't mean they don't care as in like you don't matter and like, you know, they're wishing bad. That's not what I'm saying. So don't take it out of context. What I'm saying is that they don't care because you know what? You know what they care about? They care about what they're focused on. They don't care about what you're focused on. They got their own problems, right? So it's up to you to solve it. So be patient, be in silence, write, meditate, go outside, take time for yourself to connect and give time for the dust to settle. That's it for today. And I hope you liked uh, the little you know workout that I put together. I um, believe I'm recording this, I'm recording this at a different time from that workout. This is a, a push day workout in which I'm working out my shoulders and my chest. Uh, again, since I'm doing a, more of a classic bodybuilding split, I'm going to put on a little bit of muscle. And it's that's a whole other issue too because as I get into bodybuilding, I'm learning the subculture. That's where I also realized my toxic masculinity coming out, this super bro-y, like, want to get big type of deal. And I'm like, shit, what am I doing? What's going on? And uh, it's funny, the synchronicities the, un the universe is sending sending me. Um, before I go, uh, my one of my clients, my only in-person client right now that I'm training, sent me this article about body dysmorphia with uh, young men, like 14, 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds, um, as they get on social media and they see TikTok and they see all these um, fitness influencers and they go, oh, shit, I need to be like that. So like, you know, they're, they're, they're living the bodybuilding lifestyle. And so again, it was interesting that my client shared that with me and then I was reflecting, I was like, well, what the hell content am I putting out? Like I'm, I am, I'm getting into bodybuilding, I'm living the lifestyle. And I'm seeing great progress, I'm on my way, so it's my job, and it is my passion, and I enjoy it. But this is also, again, why it's leading me to say, well, I, if there's kids that ever, as, and there will be, as they're watching my stuff, especially young, um, easily influenced, uh, malleable you know, minds, beliefs by these kids, my thought is, man, I don't, I, I want to let them know that this is, you know, the bodybuilding for me anyways, this is what it means for me and working out. It's an outlet for me for anger, for sadness, for grief in order to, um, you know, get things going. Now, it's a different, it's a different challenge, I'll say, um, when this comes up. And again, I think the time and I shared with you, I think if you watch some of my other videos, a lot of the time when I get on these videos, what's important is that I share the message but what I'm sharing is I'm coaching myself. I'm telling 
you know, I'm sharing a message that actually I need to hear the most because most often we help the people that are older versions of ourselves and we coach and share what we most need to hear. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next time.